Hey guys, me again, but if you don't know me, my name is Rachel, your figure skating big sis. And here's some figure skating essentials you didn't know that you needed. for like 17 years so I know a thing or two. I will link everything down below. I just made a strawberry matcha today. It's my first time making it. It's not bad. It's not great. Just remember these are my personal favorites so if you don't like these and I recommend them to you it doesn't work for you and that is totally fine. If you guys use any of these let me know down below. Let's start with clothes because clothes is really important. The number one most important thing that I need when skating is a supportive bra because the girls need to be supported. My favorite ones right now are the Lululemon bras but also bra tops are amazing because then you don't need a bra. This is a Lululemon long line bra. Like it has like a long thick line at the bottom. It supports the girls more. This is like the most supportive bra that Lululemon has. I really wish they had more, but this one, good quality, has pads that can come out. You need the pads for the cold girl, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I also got it in black. I wear black all the time. And these are just perfect staples and can go under anything that I wear. But then my favorite tops from Zeep Supply. I feel like this is not a very well-known brand, but they have an athletic section. And these V-neck tops are so cute. Because I have built-in bras and even though they're a V-neck, it doesn't like, nothing pops out. I got it in an extra small. I normally am a small. But I size down, especially for things that have bra tops in it. This is my favorite. It's cropped to the perfect place. They're kind of expensive, but they're so worth it. I used to wear these all the time. I never wore sports bras. I just wore these under everything because it has the collar so it can pop out like under sweaters and stuff like that. Next thing is fleece line tights. Tights? I mean, actually those could work. That's not what I meant though. I meant fleece line leggings. I got these ones from Aerie. I wear these under my Lulu dance pants all the time. They're much better than like gym activewear because most gym activewear wants you to be not warm, but we need to be warm. Like I am freezing my ass off. <laughs> every day that I go in there. So, along with pants, if pants are enough, my favorite way is to accessorize with leg warmers because they do add warmth. You think they don't do anything, but they actually do. Like, they seem kind of dumb, but they work so well for me. Like, I love wearing leg warmers. I wear them like every single outfit. All of my leg warmers are from YesStyle. I have these bow ones. My inner emo girl loves these ones. It's got the skull and the stars. So cute. And then I got two of these ones, one in white and one in black. I have these two. These are the same. These ones go all the way up the knee. They're super long. Gloves. So important, especially when you're falling because you know I be fallen. <laughs> these are my personal favorite to keep my hands warm. You can get these on Amazon. These are the head gloves. They're a little bit too big for me, but they do have the little things for your um, fingers so you can touch your phone. Then I've also got these Brandy Melville ones that are like fingerless gloves. I don't know why. I feel like I got like a better grip with these ones. I will do like a little outfit of the week video just to show more of my clothes, but those are the essentials that you need to know about. Let's move on to our skating bag. I am not a barefoot girly. I can't skate with bare feet, so I get tights. I used to wear long tights, but they were kind of uncomfortable, so I just opted for these socks now. So I've got these ones just from Amazon. They're super easy. I threw a ton in my bag just so I don't like wear the same ones multiple times because that's gross, but admittedly, I should definitely wash them more. If seams on socks bother you, you should get these ones. These are thinnies. These do not have seams at the bottom. I've got a pair in the long in this white. So this one can go like over your skate, you can fold it down. But for me, I can also fold down these ones and I feel like the white ones are a little too long. Just in the black, these have no seams and I really like them, but I don't really mind the seams too much. So I just kind of interchange them whenever I feel like it. These things saved my ankles, guys. <laughs> Once you start wearing bunga pads, you will never go back because these are the best things for your ankles. I'm sorry guys, it's a little gross, but I need a new pair, but it's got this gel on the inside and you just kind of slip it onto your foot. Make sure you untie your laces enough so it doesn't like get all wrinkled down there, but it protects your ankles so much and it's my favorite thing. I can't wear my skates without them anymore. And then these are so essential for me because I had such a problem jumping without these because my heel kept moving like up and down on my skate, but this is a heel ankle guard. It's like this gel and it just is a sock. And I put this part a little bit under my foot and then this part like wraps around my ankle and it really helped my foot not move up and down. When I first started using it though, it felt really uncomfortable and I was like, why do I feel like I'm like elevated a little bit because it went under my foot. But I got used to it after a while and it has solved the problem, which was a big problem because then I like literally couldn't jump. <laughs> Finally onto skates. I have the Jackson Premieres. 
Loki hate them though. They're stiff as fuck. I can't, I can't do stiff skates. Like I can keep skates for like two years, minimum. Like I do not break in skates. And these are so stiff for me. And I feel like I finally gotten used to them. I hate breaking in skates. It's the worst thing ever. It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> I have the gold star blades. I've had these for a while. I do enjoy these. Obviously you need a towel for your skates if they get rusty. I actually made my towel and soakers. This is dirty. I used to have like a soaker account. I don't anymore, but if enough of y'all are willing to spend $30 plus shipping on a pair of soakers, then maybe I will. Or maybe I'll give some away, that would be fun. I have a lot of inventory, but I still know what to do with it. And I don't really have time to make it because it takes a lot more time than you think to make a pair. Like you think they're as expensive, but like it takes like three hours. So not including the labor of like getting it ready to ship and all that stuff. But anyways, if you're a beginner, soakers are basically what you do to like keep your skates dry. They basically have terry cloth on the inside and it keeps your skates dry while they're in your bag. But you do have to wipe them first. Don't just stick them in the soakers. Wipe them first and then put them in the soakers, okay girl? Don't want your skates to be rusty. And then you obviously need guards. You put these on when you're walking to the ice so your skates don't like get dull or you step on anything gross. I used to have rockers, but they got stolen twice, so I have these now. These are my really old ones. I really want rockers again, but they're so expensive. Please watch the ad so I can buy a new pair of rockers, please. The rockers basically have like a rocker, obviously, and then you can walk better. It's not so like clunky because these are straight down. We're finally on to the rink bag. I am so proud of my rink bag. She is so cute. Like I found this Glossier little bag in New York. It's only at that location in store. And I was like, I want it so bad. And I didn't know what to do with it. And I was like, I could make it my rink bag. Cause look at this perfect size for the boards. It just sits on the boards. Like it's so perfect. <laughs> Like, I love her. This is definitely not essential, but I love a good trinket on my bags. I'm a silver girly usually, but I want to like mix metals one day, but I put all of my gold keychains on here and look at how cute. This is my bae Jungkook. My student gave me this little bear. My friend Evelyn gave me this little charm. She knows I love cinnamon roll. <laughs> she actually gave me this cinnamon roll up here. <laughs> and then I've got my little sunny angel. This is sunny angel that I have in here right now. It's a little kitty from the Japan series that I got. It's super important to get a water bottle that fits in your bag. So I have this really cute cinnamon roll one. It's my favorite. I got it on Amazon. Isn't that crazy? I'll put the link down below. It's so cute. It doesn't hold that much water, but I have a water fountain. So it's a good idea to take a little break, walk to the water fountain, fill it up get some more water. It's a good goal to finish maybe two of them before my practice ends. I'm not good at drinking water, guys. Also, tissue packs. I normally get these cute little ones from Daiso. They have Wee Bear Bears on it. Or is it Miniso? I don't remember. But just these little packs. Or you can also get these like round ones at like Safeway. Like a uh, cylinder, I think. I personally love to do my hair at the rink. So I have this little hair tie bag. It's got my favorite clips. Got these cinema roll ones, silver clips. And I usually have these star clips so without the hangy things because that would definitely like move around too much. Just got some normal hair ties. And then my favorite thing to do for buns are these twisty hair ties. If you have thick hair like me, this is the best hair piece that you can use because you put your hair in a bun, you like literally twist it in and it keeps everything in place and it doesn't move. Definitely recommend that you try it out. I just buy mine at Safeway. If you're an aspiring influencer, get these mini mics. I got this little bag at Daiso. It's supposed to be for change, but I use it for my mini mic. These mini mics are from Amazon. It comes in a pack of two, so if you want to, you can make a little video with your friend and then you put this into the bottom of your phone and then it connects to all your videos. But you need to make sure you turn on the mics or it's not gonna work, okay? Don't forget to turn on the mics because that happens to me all the time and then I look at the video and I'm like, there's no sound. <laughs> Last but not least, here are some of my favorite essentials that I use off the ice when I'm done skating or if I want to do some off ice at home. This is my Spin Coach's Spin Board and let me tell you why this is the best one, okay? Also, I got you guys a discount code. It's gonna be Rachel Liza and you're gonna get $5 off your order. Basically, free shipping. <laughs> Most of the time as you're turning, you kind of create friction especially with those other ones that aren't as rocky, but this one mimics your rocker on your skate. I have a video if you wanna watch it up here of how to use a spin board. One that just kind of looks like this. Like you want it to be like a little curvy. Those ones that just are flat and spin have a lot of momentum, but it doesn't really get the feeling that a lot of people struggle with is hitting the rocker. I do this with all of my kids off the ice, even if they're beginners, because it will help them start to feel that right place on their rocker, especially when they try to transfer it onto the ice. 
Now, if you want to know the real deets, it's made out of high strength nylon polymer. And this pad part right here is made out of high quality anti-skid foam. So you're not going to slip off. It's definitely good if you're beginning spins, especially for scratch spin, back spin, sit in camel. It gets so much harder when you do the more complicated spins, but definitely for your base spins. And if you can't get on the ice, get one of these. It's literally only $25 if you use my discount. You don't have to pay to go on ice every time. Like ice skating is expensive. Do the off ice practices. I'm telling that to myself too. Don't worry. You should start doing this at any part of your skating journey, but definitely when you're high level. Foam rolling. You're like, that's kind of dumb. Why would I do that? Like, do I need to do that? Not really, but it would help so you're not as sore. Basically helps muscle recovery and also helps prevent injuries and use your body weight to like roll on it on the ground. Rolls out your muscles, especially if they're very tight from like a certain workout. And it also warms up your muscles if you want to do it before or after you skate. It's my favorite thing to do right before I stretch. So use your foam roller and your mat and roll out your muscles and then stretch. Use my stretching routine. I'm coming out with a new one soon, but I'll link the one that I have out right now. It's a little old. <laughs> it's kind of cringy, not gonna lie, but it's got some good material, so you should definitely watch it. I personally wanna get one of those foam rollers that have like the little indents in it because I feel like this doesn't do that much. When you roll a lot, I feel like you get used to it or you get used to the pain or your muscles are like not as tight. I don't know. If you guys have ever tried rolling, it is so painful. So maybe start off with one kind of like this. It's not super squishy, but it's like a little bit squishy. And then for yoga mats, I really like the thick squishy ones. There are a lot of cute ones online that I want to get. I need to get a new one because mine is like so old. I definitely would opt for the squishy ones because the thin ones don't protect your knees from the ground. This is definitely something that's a little weird that I like using, but it's a tennis ball. I would not recommend the squeaky ones, but these are the only ones that I have in my house because my dog only likes the one that squeaks. She has not used this one, don't worry. But I like to use this on the arch of my foot and I just roll it after I skate. And also, to get whatever that muscle is right here, like where all of your like leg muscles connect. And I just go up to a wall, put the ball there, and then I like roll it out like this. It is a lifesaver because it is so tight. But this is one of my favorites because it all the tension out of my arches. It gets really small and tight spots that I can't reach and it kind of like pinpoints it better than a roller would because a roller just kind of does the surface of your body. But if you're extra like me and you can't reach those spots with the ball, I have a massage gun. Also. Tell me this is not the cutest thing ever. I found this at Miniso, which is so random because why would Miniso be selling a massage gun? But let me tell you, she's a cute massage gun and she works. It is so cute. I really like using this one to get into that same place. Very lightly though. It goes like this and then if you press harder, it goes harder. <laughs> If I'm getting desperate or if I don't want to do all the effort of using a roller, which is kind of a lot of effort, I just use this in my bed because doing something is better than doing nothing, period. <laughs> this also comes with two other inserts. We have this funky looking one. This one is for your shoulders right here or your back. And then I don't know what this one's for. I haven't used this one yet, but I haven't found a use for it. Don't overuse massage guns though, because they can seriously hurt you. So be careful, use it in moderation. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if any of these essentials helped you because I literally cannot live without most of them. <laughs> if you like my channel and you like figure skating, vlogs, travel, I go places, I be skating a lot. So if you wanna see more of that, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell. I post every Sunday at 3.30 p.m. PST. Like this video if you wanna see any outfit videos, any more essentials, some rolling and stretching routines. Don't worry, they're in the works. I'm already working on them, girl. <laughs> Comment down below if any of these essentials helped you and become one of your staples. And I will see you guys next week, bye.